So you, you join the conversation, you expand the boundaries of it, you tell people, I'm interested in this, or yeah. here's what I think, and then it's like the universe reaches out and grabs you by the throat. Tell me about the experience. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. So so um, I'm working in my room. So, uh, I run my own little company, right? And so I try to get all the admin work, all the you know work I don't like doing, out of the way first. So this is 9:40 in the morning, uh, and I'm, I'm in my room, just like sitting against my headboard and sending emails on my laptop. Uh, and I put down my laptop for just a second to pick up my phone. And as soon as I do that, I get this like, I, I it, it's like I knew exactly what would happen next. That's the weirdest part. Um, one of the weirdest parts about this is that I, I felt like I knew that I, I'm about to go through an experience and I'm even going to call it an abduction because that's the best word that my brain can come up with. Like these were my, like, I, I, this all came to me within half a second or maybe milliseconds. And then I realized that I couldn't even move uh, and I started freaking out because like when you lose full control of your body, your motor cortex, I'm, that's never happened to me before. Like while being consciously awake and suddenly you just can't do anything. Uh, it was terrifying. I thought that I ran through a bunch of motions. So like my mind was like running very quickly and like, is this a seizure? Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. My, like I can still like move my eyes and stuff. I'm not convoluting or anything or convulsing. Um, am I dying? Um, and so I scanned the room just with my eyes for like, like I did about two scans. And then by the time I get to my third scan, I see this shimmering object. Uh, it's like, it, it's a white outline with like these big black eyes. Uh, and initially like I, I thought like, I, this can't be real. Like, uh, it, it, like I can't, uh, I, I must be making this up, right? Like I must be hallucinating this. Suddenly it became completely solid, completely materialized. And I see this being, it's about three to four feet tall. Its head is massive, like probably the head alone was about a foot. Um, very like robotic looking. The whole thing that it was wearing was like one uniform snow white spacesuit. Like it was very pure white with like this golden insigma in the middle that was constantly changing colors. Um, it, it, uh, sorry, not changing colors, changing symbols. Um, and so that whole, that was weird in itself and suddenly two other beings materialized the same exact way right next to it. And initially when I saw that, I wasn't even that scared. I was more scared that I couldn't move, right? Like uh, that was freakier. And I figured, all right, if I look away, these things are gonna be gone. Like I'm, this is, I'm dreaming this or something. And I looked around and I like, look back and now they're just walking around my room like they own the room <laughs> and I was terrified I was like terrified and fascinated because I was like holy crap these things are real like these stories I've read they're people might not have been lying that was one of the most profound realizations I had I was like now I'm one of them too this is now I see what they see like now I see why this drives people right um, and so even that, like throughout the whole time that I was still so in disbelief, but it was so real and so in my face that it was still scary, very scary uh, initially. So like I would try to move myself uh, and I couldn't uh, move anything other than my neck. And that was the weird part. So I moved my neck a little bit, uh, just by about an inch. And I feel extremely nauseous when I did that. So like I was fighting like the paralysis, you can say. And as I did this, um, like their craft uh, sort of materializes through my room so like my through my roof so my roof disappears and I can see their craft sort of submerge through the roof and I was like that's not possible um, that it definitely made it seem like either my room was a fake image or that was like a fake image being overlaid uh, across my eyes then I put my neck down a little bit more and suddenly my entire room is gone and all I could see is that I'm inside the entire uh, craft now and I felt super sick to my stomach like very uneasy not out of fear or anything, it just, it was some weird reaction. Um, not sure why I was feeling nauseous. And so I couldn't uh, handle that feeling. So I went back, uh, lift, put my head back down and back, like my room is back up again. And I only see my room and these three beings. And now they're projecting these hieroglyphics. Uh, it was sentences and paragraphs. And it would be like, imagine if I had like subtitles floating in front of me. Um, they were like dark red symbols, it was like, I, I describe it as a mix of Egyptian and Japanese, and they were just flipping from the bottom up really, really fast, just flip, 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 paragraph, sentence, and it's hovering right in front of my uh, wall, like above one of the, their heads. Um, and one thing that I think is worth noting is that 
There was only one English symbol that was shown about three to four times. Everything else was these hieroglyphs. And what was it? DNA in capital letters. It was, uh, it, it, it was frustrating because I knew that, I realized that even if this is my mind or whatever, they, it knows English, like whatever these things are, but they're refusing to use English words to, like, I don't know what this is, you know? It was extremely frustrating. But also, I, I was super fascinated. I, I was studying their movements. I was studying, like, exactly what was going on and trying to, like, do my best to remember these symbols. Uh, I can only remember expressions because, like, imagine if um, I just showed you Chinese for the first time, right? Could you recreate any of the characters? Yeah. I can't, so. Um, but the fact that DNA, capital letters, was shown, that really uh, stuck with me. It means that they find it relevant. Uh, Did, was there any communication other than this, the symbols? Was there any mental communication or verbal? So I heard like verbal voices when I was completely, when I'd moved my head completely and I could only see the ship. And it sounded like they were telling me to like relax or calm down. And it was like a female, it was multiple voices, but it was a female one uh, that told me that like, it's okay. Um, so that was it. Uh, there was also music that I heard in the middle of the experience, completely out of context, had no meaning to me at all. And it was in like, it was about three or four seconds of some weird like, rock genre you can say and the lyrics was the way that I the best way I can describe it is it was like English that was developed in a parallel universe so it sounded like English but not exactly like as if it followed a different uh, evolution of its own um, there was also yeah other than that there was no other way other way of communication that I can say happened how long do you think the experience lasted and it how did it end it felt in in total about 20 to 30 minutes um, yeah, uh, of just like them showing these 3D objects. Like they would sometimes just, there was one part of where my, um, where I'm standing, I thought the experience ended and I'm just standing in front of my fridge, just looking at it and I can feel gravity and I can physically feel like I'm, you know, there. And then suddenly it just stops and I'm back in my own body, like back lying in the bed and seeing them as they're flipping these holograms. I was like, holy crap, I thought this was over. How do they do that? Um, so, so how it ended was uh, the last couple minutes, um, this being uh, like, it jumps up on top of my bed and it like, I feel extreme euphoria come across, like uh, an extreme bliss. Like it, I, the word that came to my mind was oneness, even though that had no meaning to me um, back then. That was the best way that I can describe it. Uh, so they had this like, yeah, I, I'm going through this, like just a bunch of thoughts. Um, and I don't know, I was in a state of just uh, being where it felt like, uh, I describe it as the universe being sentient. Like it was acknowledging my existence. And it felt like I was remembering this, that like I always knew this somehow. Uh, or, and I always knew that I would come to this day, that this experience would happen and I would realize this. It was just such a strange, yeah, alien feeling.